Hello friends, we are going to do calendar together today. So let's get started. All right, to start, can you find for me on the calendar the purple star? Here it is, the purple star is on the number 21 because today is the 21st day of September. All right, let's move to today's date. Today's date is Monday, September 21st, 2020. Can you say that for me? All right, now let's say it together. Today's date is Monday, September 21st, 2020. All right, so we're going to move to the green box. The green box says today is, hmm, what day is it today? Today is Monday, so I'm going to move the Monday in the green box. All right, now I'm going to move up to the pink box. The pink box says yesterday was. Hmm, if today is Monday, then that means yesterday was Sunday. Fantastic. So I'm going to move Sunday in the pink box. All right, now let's move to the blue box. The blue box says tomorrow will be. Hmm, if today is is Monday, then that means tomorrow will be Tuesday. So I'm going to put Tuesday in the blue box. All right, now I'm going to read it all together and then you're going to read it with me. Okay, I'm going to start up at the pink box. The, yesterday was Sunday. Today is Monday. Tomorrow will be Tuesday. All right, let's read it together. Yesterday was Sunday. Today is Monday. Tomorrow will be Tuesday. All right, let's move to the weather report. The forecast for today is sunny. Can you take a look for me outside? Is it sunny today? Okay, let's move to the pink box. The pink box says the temperature, and the temperature for today is going to be 73 degrees. Can you remind me, how do we know that this number is talking about degrees or temperature and not 73? three french fries or 73 hot dogs. How do we know that this number is talking about the temperature? We know that this number is talking about the temperature because of this little circle right here. This little circle is the symbol for degrees or temperature. So when this little circle is next to a number, that's how we know that the number is talking about degrees and temperature. All right, let's take a look at the red line. Our red line has gone a little bit down from last week, but it's still pretty big. So since the red line is still pretty big, what does that mean? Since the red line is still pretty big, we know that it's going to be still warm outside, but once the red line starts getting smaller, it's going to start getting colder outside. But since the red line is still pretty big, we know that today it is going to be warm outside. All right, let's move to the weather graph. Can you remind me, what's the forecast for today? Which column uh, sorry, which row am I going to put a rectangle in? Am I going to put one in the sunny row? 
No, I'm going to put a pink, a pink rectangle in the sunny row because today it is going to be sunny outside. Now let's count how many pink rectangles there are in the sunny row. All right, one, two, three, four. We have had four sunny days in September. All right, let's count the yellow rectangles in the cloudy row. One, two, three, four, five. That means that we've had five cloudy days in September. Now let's count the rainy rectangles. One, we've only had one rainy day in September so far. All right, let's move to the number of days in school. Ooh. All right, here we go. Friends, I have a question. Can you remind me, what are we using to help us count the number of days in school? What is this type of box called? A 10 frame. So we've been using using 10 frames to help us count the number of days in school. So first we're going to count the number of orange stars in the first 10 frame. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we have filled up one 10 frame. Now let's move on to the second 10 frame. Let's count now the number of purple stars in the second 10 frame. If the last number that we said was 10, then which number star will this be? 11. So this number star is 11 and we are going to keep counting on from there. All right, are you ready? 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So now we've counted two full 10 frames. Okay, let's move on to the light blue stars. If the last number that we just said was 20, then which number is this star? This first light blue star. 21. So we are going to keep counting up from 21. All right. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. So we have had 28 days of school together. All right, my last question about this page, how many more days of school do we need to have for us to fill up three 10 frames? Let's count the blanks. One, two. So after two more days of school, we will have filled up three 10 frames. Whoa. All right, let's move on to my favorite part of calendar pattern work. Is it loading? Yes. So do you, did you happen to maybe this weekend get the chance to make a pattern for someone else to solve? If you forgot, it's okay. But if you did make a pattern for someone to solve this weekend, how did it go? Okay, we are going to work on solving these two patterns. So for the first one, we're going to say the colors of the teddy bears together. Are you ready? Let's do it. Pink, pink, yellow, pink. What color teddy bear goes on this blank? What are we going to do first? 
we're going to look at the color of the teddy bears on both sides of the blank. And on both sides of the blank, I see pink teddy bears. So now I'm going to look to see if in the pattern I can find a colored teddy bear in between two pink ones. Hmm. I see a yellow teddy bear in between two pink teddy bears. So do you think a yellow teddy bear goes on this blank? I think so. So I'm going to put a yellow teddy bear on this blank. All right, now let's say the whole pattern together. Pink, yellow, pink, yellow, pink. Awesome job. Okay, let's move on to the second pattern. And remember friends, when we get to a blank, we're going to, because it's a blank. Okay, let's do it. Blue, blue, red, blue. What color teddy bear goes here? So first I'm going to look on both sides of the blank and I see blue on both sides of the blank. Now I'm going to look in the pattern to see if I can find a colored teddy bear in between two blue teddy bears. Hmm. I see a red teddy bear in between two blue teddy bears. So do you think a red teddy bear goes on this blank? I think so. So I'm going to put a red teddy bear on that blank. All right, now let's see the whole pattern together. Blue, red, blue, red, blue. Awesome job. All right, I'm going to make a third pattern right now. Hmm. All right, let's read the whole pattern together. Green, green, orange, green. What color teddy bear goes on this blank? You think an orange teddy bear? All right, let's check. So on both sides of the blank, I see a green teddy bear. So now I'm going to look in the pattern to see if I can see a colored teddy bear in between two green teddy bears. All right. Hmm. I do see an orange teddy bear in between two green teddy bears. I think you're right. I think an orange teddy bear does go on this blank. All right, let's read the whole pattern together just to make sure that we are correct. Green, orange, green, orange, green. I think we did it. You did an awesome job at calendar today. Thank you so much for helping me. All right, friends, we are all done with calendar. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!